Are you looking to get more high quality phone calls into your business? Well, then look no further. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a call campaign inside Google Ads. One of the very best ways to generate high quality phone call leads for your business is through Google Ads. You can target high buying intent keywords, which means people who are searching for your product or service at any given time, they're going to see your ad first and they're going to have the ability to call you directly, which is a great way, again, to bring in leads for your business and make more sales. Now, now, without further ado, let's get into creating a call campaign inside Google Ads. The first thing we want to do is come over here to the create button. If you don't see this other workspace over here, you just have to hit the three buttons in the corner here. That'll pop up. That's a very common question I get on our YouTube channel. Why don't I see this? Three buttons here. You'll see that. But all we have to do is hit create here. We're going to hit create campaign for campaign objective. We're just going to hit leads. We're going to hit continue. We're going to hit search. We're going to hit phone calls. We're going to type in our phone number here. Make sure this phone number is set correctly to the right country. We're going to be using title pools as our example here. And uh, that's going to be very important. If you don't have the correct country, Google is not going to run your ads. So very, very important to do so. Uh, we're going to name our campaign. Let's do pool installation. I like pool installation campaigns. I think they're fun and I'm very used to making them. So let's continue. Normally for bidding, I like to focus on max clicks and then go in there and find the correct bidding. Uh, I've been recommending more and more just to set it as conversions with no target cost per action at the beginning because I see a lot of people getting confused. If you set the incorrect bid limit, your ads are just not going to run. So I'm recommending conversions for most people more and more often. I leave target CPA alone. And then after a month, we come down here to target CPA. There'll be a number automatically generated by Google. I usually give that another five to $10 room to run just so Google can actually go in there. Uh, but for right now, we're just going to leave this as conversions. Again, if you watch any of the other tutorials, I normally recommend clicks uh, for best results. I would recommend clicks, but this is also a pretty good way. Uh, is it the absolute best? No, but conversions is pretty all right. Next, we're going to go into campaign settings. We're going to uncheck Google search partners because that is generally a waste of money here. We're going to scroll down to locations. We're going to hit presence because we only want to target people in the actual locations. We don't want to target people searching for our locations. Are there times you can do that? Absolutely, but not for this campaign. We're going to exclude presence or interest. Uh, that's a little complicated, but essentially you want to remove both. Uh, we're going to hit our actual locations we want to target. We're going to hit advanced search there. And then we're going to target, let's do Toronto because we're in Canada here. We'll hit target. Uh, let's do Mississauga and we'll do Hamilton. And then you could also come in here and let's just for the sake of example, I would come in here and exclude a whole bunch of stuff uh, just around the actual cities we don't want to target. That generally helps with actual lead costs and bringing them down a little further. Uh, but I, for the sake of time, I'm just going to skip that and just move on with the selected cities we have. So Hamilton, Mississauga, Toronto, hit save. We're good to go. Continue scrolling down. Language, we're only gonna target English. The next thing is audience segments. So we're gonna come down here. We're gonna leave this in observation mode because this is not going to limit us. Uh, if you set it to targeting mode, that it's going to narrow you to only these audiences, which could be a good or bad thing. We don't know. We don't have the data to make a good decision on that. So I always recommend, at least for the first couple months, leaving it in observation mode, allowing Google to collect that data, and then later on changing it to targeting if you see really, really good results. For this, we're going to add anything slightly relevant to pool installation. So even home improvement, garden outdoor. I'd go in here and literally anything slightly related to your actual um, industry, I would add that. Uh, you could also go in here to all the demographics and in market and whatever else you want. Anything slightly related, I would just add it so you can collect data on it and see how it works. And then we come down here to more settings, add rotation, we're going to leave alone, start and end dates, we're going to leave alone, uh, add schedule, we're going to switch to Mondays, Fridays, and we'll do working hours because normally people on weekends, they don't convert as well. So we're going to skip that. Let's do eight till five. So that would be 1700 hours, I believe. Good. Uh, if you wanted to test out Saturday and Sunday, you absolutely can just hit add and then Saturday and Sunday at the end of it. Perfectly fine. But normally Mondays to Fridays, these are going to be your best results for most service based businesses. Um, you can test it out. But as always, follow the data for more settings, uh, everything else we're going to leave alone and then just hit next. Now we're going to name our ad group. Uh, I'm just going to do a basic pool installation ad group. Cool. Uh, for keywords, we're going to enter in, we'll do pool 
All right, so I went ahead and filled in all the keywords we're gonna be using for this. This will actually give you a estimated cost as well as an average CPA of what your actual leads are gonna come in. This is not always accurate, so please keep bear in mind. Uh, what I would recommend doing is coming up here to tools and settings, going to the keyword planner and actually looking for a whole bunch of keywords related to your niche. I have an entire video on that. I'll link it up below, but just to keep this video short, I didn't want to explain everything inside that uh but again i would go to the keyword planner and find out a whole bunch of relevant keywords to you as you can see here we're keeping all this stuff very very similar so pool installation pool installation services all very high buying intent keywords services contractor uh, that's services twice we'll get rid of that one company local pool installation service uh you could even do uh just local installation that's completely fine now for these keywords I normally start them off in either exact match or phrase match uh, for phrase match you're going to be a little bit more lenient for exact match you're going to be more uh, stringent on what your ads will actually pop up for I have multiple videos on explaining the difference both of them can be useful if you're going to only create a couple ad groups I'd probably go with phrase match over exact match just because you want a decent amount of actual search impressions if you have a ton of ad groups exact match is probably the best bet because you can control it a bit more but for this example we're not going to be creating a whole bunch of actual uh, ad groups we're just going to be creating the one so I'm going to leave this in parentheses and that's going to put it in phrase match so we're going to go around and put parentheses around every single one of these and yes I do know it takes a little bit of time but hey it is what it is it will save us a lot of money in the long run so now that that's done and our keywords are set to phrase match so we're going to move on to our ad section and as you can see we have the actual phone number we already set up what we're going to do is enter in the final URL and the verification URL. What the verification URL is, is it allows Google to see that your actual phone number is on the website and that it is an actual business. So your phone number has to be somewhere on the website that is here. If it's not, Google's not going to run the ads. Uh, for the final URL, this allows a website link to pop up. If you don't want that, you can just undo this. For this example, I'm just going to leave the final URL blank. You don't need it. Uh, I like to test between the two and just follow the data, see what uh, gets better results. It's up to you, though. The display path is the little extension after your actual URL. This can be customized to whatever you want. I'm just going to use the actual keyword here, which is pool installation, and the one we're focusing on in this ad group. This generally gives you you better results as it's more customized and more relevant to the customer now when it comes to headlines I like to put the actual main keyword in our ad group in first so pool installation we could do even services that's fine I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in all of this and then I'll come back all right so I went ahead and filled in the rest of the headlines descriptions and business name business name self-explanatory the actual headlines generally I like to identify the problem so I would normally type in local pool installation, looking for pool installation, something like that, that actually has the main problem the customer is having in the actual headline. This is a very good way of one relating to the customer and showing them that we understand their problem. It generally helps with conversion rates and bringing your overall results up. The second one I like to do is either a call to action right off the bat. Uh, it's not as important with call ads because you already have call. We know what the call action is, call to action is. Um, you could also also put get a quote now or something like that but for this one I put in another reason to buy so this could be award-winning pools uh, you could also put certified installers 30 years of experience give them reasons to buy uh, is award-winning pools the absolute best no but again for the sake of time we're not gonna go crazy with this uh, business name self-explanatory description we're giving more reasons to buy and then a call to action at the end easy and professional pool installation to make your life easy and hassle free I'd probably get one of the rid of the easies there uh, call now as you can see the call to action I like this one much better award-winning pools certified installers a two-year warranty and dozens of happy clients by the way if you're lazy like me consider checking out the Google Ads done for you bundle it comes with everything you need to just plug and play you can literally copy these headlines and descriptions it also comes with extensions keywords and negatives so everything is literally plug and play again copy and paste if you actually want to take the time to actually come up with them I have a step-by-step -step video on how we do it uh, but this product will save you a whole bunch of time if you don't want to do that moving on the conversion action that's completely fine you can use calls from ads uh, call reporting is turned on good 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 we hit next uh, we're gonna set a budget and really I recommend at least a $50 budget for almost any type of account at a bare minimum and that's because if you're going to be doing Google Ads, there's a certain threshold you need. Generally, it's anywhere from $1,000 to $1,500 USD a month, just so you can get over the initial hump, get a, enough data into the account to make good decisions and start seeing some results. Anything under that 
you're gonna have a real problem optimizing and it's gonna take a much longer time. And in our experience, it's just not somewhere we normally want people to be in. It's just too long. It's not a fun process. So yeah, I would say at least $50 a day. I would look at the actual keyword planner. I teach you how to do this in many of our videos. Look at the keyword planner, find the highest average cost per click. So let's say it's um, the ha highest average cost per click is $10. I would times that by five because a 20% conversion rate is normally attainable. That means you're going to get at least one conversion a day. So 10 times five is 50. And like it says here, it's $50 a day. I would set that probably to let's do $60 and then add 52 cents. It is an auction system. So that 52 cents does matter. And then moving on again, the, these numbers, by the way, this is only from one ad group. If we're actually seriously making an entire account out, uh, you're going to have more than one ad group. And these are going to come down significantly. Moving on, we're going to hit next. So now we're going to review the campaign. It's just going to show us if there's any issues with it and essentially everything we've done. Once we're happy with this, we just hit publish campaign down here and we are good to go. Our campaign is active and it will start producing results. If this is brand new and you want to build out an entire campaign, I would suggest checking out our other tutorials that are a little bit more in depth. They are a little longer, but it shows you how to build out more and more ad groups, uh, more keywords and really just how to get better results in the long run. I'd also suggest checking out our Google ads optimization checklist. Uh, every single campaign inside Google ads needs to be optimized. You need to add more keywords. You need to adjust bid modifiers. All of this stuff is very important. Same with audiences. Uh, this is stuff can't be overlooked. A lot of people overlook it and they're like, ah, I just let it run. You're going to see very poor results. So I definitely recommend checking out our Google ads optimization checklist. It walks you through what you should be doing every week, month, three month basis, and allows you to jot down your results as well. Now I do have one massive favor to ask, and that is for you to leave a like at the end of this video. I put so much time and effort into these videos and I really do enjoy making them in this fun format. It's more entertaining. It's more interactive. And I think it's more enjoyable for you the audience than the previous versions of these videos if you go back watch my old videos i just don't like them as much uh that being said they were a lot quicker to make but i really do enjoy this new format i like putting more effort and making them more professional looking uh so if you could drop a like down it really does help the channel out helps it grow and it helps vindicate my own ego no i'm just kidding uh but thank you very much in advance if you do choose to like this video if you have any comments questions or concerns leave a comment down below i will do my best to answer it other than that you guys have a wonderful day take care and enjoy